Once upon a time, Egyptian cinema was at the forefront of Middle Eastern arts and culture. It characterized a period of remarkable change in artistic growth in the region and made the Egyptian dialect recognizable across the entire Arab world. The golden age of Egyptian cinema started in the early 1940s and lasted until the late 60s before the wind of change would completely transform the country's artistic landscape and the world at large. The themes, messages, and acting in the Golden Age films truly remind us of how great our cinematic output was. Here are our top films to take you on a trip down memory lane. Coming in at number three is the Hassan al-Imam and Sayyid Tantawi directed Bain al-Asrin. Based on the first part of the Cairo trilogy by Naguib Mahfouz, the film tells the story of an ordinary Egyptian middle-class family led by its patriarch, Ahmed Abdel Gawed. The story is set during the British occupation, before the outbreak of the 1919 revolution whereby Egypt gained partial independence from the British Empire. The patriarch, Abdel Gawed, is a man of two faces who leads an austere life at home where he deals harshly with his family. <laughs> While elsewhere he lives a life of indulgence and depravity. <laughs> His character represents the duality of many Egyptians at the time who on the one hand tried to preserve their tradition and cultural roots by forcibly instilling them in their family, while on the other hand privately succumbing to the more liberal Western way of life embodied by the British. In a broader view, the film is a lucid depiction of how British colonialism contributed to Egypt's loss of cultural identity. Coming in at number two is Ghazal al Banet or The Flirtation of Girls, directed by Anwar Wagdi, who also stars in it. <laughs> this beloved classic tells the story of Hamam, an Arabic teacher who is hired by a wealthy aristocrat to tutor his daughter Layla so that she can pass her Arabic exams. <laughs> Hamem grows fond of Layla's cheerful company, which he finds to be a refreshing escape from his otherwise uninteresting life. The story contrasts the harsher side of Egyptian life embodied by Hamem with the glamorous, seductive, and carefree side of Egypt's elite embodied by Layla. Through these diverse characters, the film portrays the many facets of pre-Republican Egyptian society. And last but not least, at number one, is Shadi Abdel Salem's Al Mumya, also known as The Night of Counting the Years. Set in 19th century Egypt, before British rule, the film is based on the true story of an Egyptian upper clan that discovers a trove of mummies in a tomb and sells them on the black market. The central character, Wanis, is a member of the clan who has a crisis of conscience when he realizes that his family is stealing valuable national treasures. <laughs> the film vividly captures the blending of modern and pre-modern Egyptian life in the years preceding the turn of the 20th century. Everything from set design to costumes, cinematography and acting was definitely ahead of its time.